Hello and welcome back everyone, both everyone uh, here as well as on our international Zoom feed. I also see that some of my commentator colleagues have joined me. Hello, Lor. Hello, Maurit. Hi, um, and it's um, a very important moment because as you all know, League of Legends Esports has been elevated by the incredible support from our partners. Hopefully you have seen their activations outside at the Fan Fest, as well as the digital and social activity throughout worlds from HP brands Omen and HyperX, MasterCard, Red Bull, Verizon, Secret Lab, AWS, Oppo, Opera GX, Cisco and Mercedes-Benz. As we take a look at some of the activations, I mean, Roger Federer in a Mercedes-Benz, this is a match made in heaven. And speaking of Mercedes, for the fourth straight year, Mercedes continues to elevate the championship experience with the iconic championship ring. This is a symbol of victory that our winning team will carry beyond the trophy itself. And here it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep it for safekeeping, don't worry, but uh, it does look very, very good. So, uh, as you have seen on screen already, Mercedes did drop their social spot today featuring the GOAT of tennis, Roger Federer, alongside Mercedes' all-new electric G-Class, the official Summoner's Cup carrier. And whilst filming the spot, Federer recorded a special message to our two finalists. I have great respect for all athletes and the dedication to be on top of their game. Good luck. Awesome. Thank you, Roger, for that. Uh, good luck to our two finalists. And I think it is time for our guests of honor for today. And we will be starting our first finalist team who will be competing for the Summoner's Cup tomorrow. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Billy Billy Gaming, representing the hope of the LPL to bring the world's title back to China and to exact revenge on T1 on behalf of the LPL. Bin, Shun, Wei, Knight, L, and on. So, you will be able to ask questions to, to BLG, as they've shown us, of course, some unforgettable moments throughout this World Championship. And uh, for the media, once again, like before, if you would like to ask a question, you can form a orderly line at the microphone, wait till it is your turn, and then when it is your turn, kindly state your name, your outlet, and then your question. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of time. Go. I think we're about good. Are we ready to, uh, to kick things off? Yes, we're going to start with uh, questions from Korean-speaking media, and okay. then English-speaking, and then finally Chinese-speaking media. And we shall be uh, waiting for our translation after uh, Yes, and we'll give the signal when we're Perfect. good to go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Good afternoon. Hello, I'm Pongos Baksangjin. I have a question for the Knight and the Knight. First of all, the Knight is now the coach of the team. The coach of the team is the coach of the team. The coach of the team is the coach of the team in 2015. He was the coach of the team with the team. He was the coach of the team with the team. He was the coach of the team with the team. Do you have any questions about the Knight and the Knight? Do you have any questions about the Knight and the Knight? Do you have any questions about the Knight? 빈 선수 같은 경우에는 예전부터 계속 제우스 선수와 높은 곳에서 만나고 싶다고 했던 소원이 이제 이루어졌어요. 아무래도 예전과는 좀 다른 마음가짐일 테고 아마 이번에 BLG가 우승하면 은 순수 중국 선수 다섯 명으로 우승한 첫 우승인데 그만큼 탑라인으로서도 좀더 비장한 마음, 마음가짐일 텐데 이거에 대해서 한마디 부탁드리겠습니다. 选手一起拿过世界赛的冠军，那他来到 BLG 之后，有没有去跟你说一些与飞鸽选手相关的事情，或者是说在操作方面一些有关的事情呢？嗯，其实侯爷来的时候也和我经常聊天嘛，就他也谈到飞鸽的职业精神和职业态度非常好吧，就这是可以学习的。
저희 코치님 배아지에 들어와서 저랑 얘기를 많이 해봤고요. 그리고 페크 선수님도 되게 프로답게 선수라고 말씀을 말씀해 주셨습니다. 然后现在这个第二个问题是问到冰选手的我们都知道在赛前你多次说过想要和T1的Zeus选手在顶峰相见那如今你的心愿成真你们即将要在伦敦的最高的舞台上去展开拼搏了想知道现在的心境和之前相
会比较，就游戏智商比较高吧。但是我觉得我们的打架和打团都比他们厉害，然后我们的运营也做得比他们好，而且我们确实非常了解他们。我们在这两年和他们交流了很多次，所以我们这次会和我们之前比如我做的事情一样。Strengths. All the players in that team are good at the mechanics, and in these two years, we have faced off against each other for so many times. After that, we kind of very familiar with each other. So hopefully tomorrow we can really show guys a very exciting best of five. And the answer from Bing was, uh, I feels like the strengths of that T1 is they can really have very smart play inside the games. And but in terms of the fights, the team fights, the macro, those kind of stuff, I believe BLG as a team just be able to do better, and we're quite familiar with T1. We play against of T1 so many times, and we're just to continue the win rate uh, against T1 in the best of five. Go ahead. Uh, hi, um, Anand from the New York Times. Uh, this is a question to the full team, but kind of, I think entering this uh, final the teams kind of seen as an underdog because T1 have great history in this tournament. So does being underdogs kind of give you extra motivation or uh, you know just make give you a slight edge over your opponents tomorrow? Sorry, which question is this for? Oh, which player? Oh, it's for the team. Any any of the okay. players can answer here. Yeah. 这个问题的选手，那其实马上要来到决赛的一个对决，其实可能很多人在很多眼里，因为 T1 也是一个有非常多荣誉傍身的队伍，可能你们会在大家看来并没有那么那么的看好，或是有点以下课上的意味。所以说，你觉得这会给你们更大的一些呃动力，呃，能够让你们展现的更好，还是说你们会有什么样的一些想法呢？呃，首先我觉得我们这次决赛面对 T1， 首先嗯很有故事性吧，因为我们两个队伍在这两年交手非常多次，然后在呃因为 T1 的世界赛会很不一样嘛，然后他们在世界赛的时候其实也没有输过 LPL 队伍，但是我们面对 T1， 我们在 BO5 的时候也没有输过 T1 BO BO5， 所以说这是很有信心。So the answer from Elk was uh, for the grand final, I believe it's going to be a very amazing storyline because we face, um, face off against each other so many times. And definitely the T1 in World Championship, they can always have the very different performance. And they can always perform so good. And they didn't lose to LPL in best of fives. But the same for us, we didn't lose to T1 in best of fives as well. Uh, so we have enough confidence for the final. Hello, I'm Jessica from KK Esports, and my question is to the whole team. Um, it's not for the upcoming final, but for next year in the first event, there will be Fearless Draft. And if you are the team going to this event um, next year, possible, what's your opinion on the Fearless Draft as a team? <laughs> 不只是关于今年的一个问题，而是关于明年。因为明年的话，第一个赛段的比赛也会有无畏征兆的模式。那如果你们是有机会能够代表赛区来参与这场比赛的战队的话，你对于这样的无畏征兆模式的运用什么样的想法呢？呃，因为无畏征兆模式是明年才会出现嘛。然后，其实自己是比较期待，就是在世界赛。的时候是全局 PP 的，因为这样子会增加很多的一些不确定性，还有在就更加考验选手的英雄池，还有教练组的应变能力吧。但是因为这是明年的事嘛，我们今年其实并没有考虑太多吧，就为了最后一场比赛而努力吧。So the answer from our course, uh, so for the next year, I'm really looking forward to maybe um, for the fearless mode in our world championship, maybe because I feels like under the fearless mode, there will be uh, under fearless draft, there will be so many unexpected things that can happen. It's really can be a challenge to the champion pool from the players and also the preparation from all the coaching stuff, but also is all coming for the next year's plans. So for now, we're not like thinking about this part. We just would like to just try our best to fight for the tomorrow game. 
Hello, this is Jay Silver with Jay Silver Presents. My question is for both Jun and Wei. The two of you have been sharing the jungle position this world. Uh, so what have you been learning from one another to help uh, BLG succeed and make it to tomorrow's finals? Uh,因为本身我和薇就玩法会不一样嘛,我从他身上我学到很多一些就是稳定的运营和更好的去营游戏吧,我觉得这点我学的挺多的。跟大方刚才我觉得我们不管是我们谁打我觉得都会有一个非常好的表现吧 so to answer from Xun was definitely together with Wei, we share some differences in our play styles. And so from Wei, I can really learn how to do a very stable, maybe macro, and try to win the games with less risky moves. So no matter who's going to play for tomorrow's final, we're just going to try our best to have a good performance on stage. And the answer from Wei is definitely, we have the distinguished play style difference. And I really learned a lot of how can we fight uh, in the games from Xun and also learn a lot of mechanic styles, uh, uh, mechanic things from Xun as well, and I really learned a lot about macro. So uh, hopefully we can really have a very good performance tomorrow. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eric from Mesa Sports. Uh, I have a question for Bing. So in the history of League of Legends, most the best top players in the history, they didn't have their peak for a long time, mostly like few seasons, two years maybe. And you are here playing like at the top level for like five years. Uh, so first, why do you think it's hard for top laners to keep a high level for so many years? And what is your secret to be that to be like that five years fighting for the top? 这个问题想问一下冰选手，那其实你在很多年间都一直是一个非常顶尖的一个上单选手，可能很多人会觉得对于上单的位置的话，可能整个的话题会更短一点点，就非常难以很长久的保持非常高超的经济状态。但是对于
哎，自己实力就得到认可吧。有 LPL 赛区的翻，有很多翻墙的中国选手了。So the answer from being was, uh, I think together with five like Chinese players to win the uh, world championship for LPL, it can means like five Chinese player can perform better than five Korean players. And the answer from Knight was, uh, if I be able to get be the first LPL Chinese mid laner to get the world championship, it really means a lot for me. It means I got the recognition and also uh, it means like in LPL, there are so many strong mid lane and there are so many strong Chinese players as well. All right, and this will be the final question. Hi there, a question uh, for Ben. It's Sean Wetzler from the Score Esports. Uh, when we spoke in the Swiss stage, you told me that BLG was still struggling to find their full potential, but obviously you've shown a very convincing performance in the bracket so far. How would you say BLG's form has changed over the course of this tournament, and will we be seeing a BLG at 100% tomorrow? 那这个问题想问一下冰选手，其实，在瑞士轮的时候，他曾有幸和你进行过一些交流。他当时你们说，其实，在比较的挣扎的一个阶段当中，正在努力的来寻找标志更多的一些可能性。但是现在呢，感觉你们的在一场一场的比赛当中不断的进化，状态越来越好。想问一下，你在你们在这个过程当中，你觉得有哪些改变？然后怎么样能够在明天的比赛当中发挥出百分百的实力呢？觉得我们一开始有些挣扎，只是因为我们状态没有那么好，我们只是找回了，找回了自己，我们就进入了决赛。我觉得我们实力就是冠军的水平，所以明天我们只需要发挥我们正常的实力，我们就可以拿下冠军。So I think why we have a lot of struggling from the very beginning is we didn't manage to have a very good form, a very good momentum. So we are kind of like try to make a very good adaption to uh, help the team to have a good form. Um, but for the strength of this BLG, I believe it's kind of the champion level. So what we need to do for the final is really to focus on our own stuff and try my best to just showcase the normal like BLG level performance on stage to secure the victory. All right, we'll actually take one more question from uh, Chinese-speaking media. Um, 大家都知道 T1 在全球范围内都有非常多的粉丝。那想问一下，标界队员们面对这一次跟 T1 打总决赛，有什么想对他们说的吗？ Thank for their questions, and please, a big round of applause to BLG. We will be having our Q&A with T1 as well, but we need to take a couple of cool pictures as well with both teams, so we're going to do that right now. And then after that, I'll do the official introduction for T1, and we can welcome them with a big applause. So we'll just take care of the photos now. <laughs> 